The level 102 target can be driven for instant repair, but I'm probably not going to do that. More on that just before I show you the build. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. This is the level 102 target, and I'm going to run through this for as low damage as I can possibly get, using my full X1 Prowler fleet with a Sea Serpent screw and an Evade flagship. As long as you have one ship at X1 and an Evade flagship, you can probably get pretty similar results. Although, of course, no X1 is still the same general path, the upgrades don't change your weapon ranges or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this target, there's a few turret types to be aware of. The first one right here is a very, very short range one that shouldn't ever do any damage to you. The next ones you have to worry about come in these clusters. We do have one right here, this radioactive guy is going to do some damage to you. But it also does have a minimum range, which you can get inside pretty quickly. There's also a launcher turret. These are the things you're going to want to kill very quickly, definitely before they get a shockwave onto you. When I mention shockwaves, you also do want to consider whether you want to have the particle effects on or off. That, as well as a few other settings here, are uh, will actually let you see all the shockwaves and everything, but will make it a lot more difficult when you have the next turret right here, which is the rampaging splash turrets. I don't like how big the projectile explosions are, especially on my own weapons, so I keep those off. Let's go ahead and get into the next turret cluster right here. Should be pretty easy. I'm going to stay moving against this one because as soon as that guy goes down, I can engage the next one, which is another similar turret cluster. A bunch of projectiles here moving around, and this one is going to get bigger. I should be able to kill it before it actually does any worthwhile damage, though. Now, you do want to make sure in this target you stay moving because your ships are all the way spun up, wound up, whatever you want to call it, and they already have their maximum splash if you can stay firing. Now, basically, once you're in the minimum ranges, that doesn't really matter. As long as you don't go into the range of the short-range turrets right here, you should be completely fine. There's a few other buildings that you do want to be aware of. The command center building I just killed controls several different buildings in the corner. In the particular auto targets, that's actually not going to really do anything because the projectile speed is so high you take damage even if you were autoing, which, hey, whatever, can't really complain about that too much. That's really about it to be aware of in the target. You really want to stay moving, stay firing at things the entire time so your weapon stays splashed up and you can kill the turret clusters. You can see how much more quickly I'm killing those at the end of the target than the start of the target, or right now when I lose all my splash nav to go through here. Now the stun is pretty helpful, and like I said, even if you stay moving, you're still not going to end up being hit by this long-range decimator-style turret because that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. That was not bad, let's go ahead and take a look at the damage, the battle report, and the build. Looks like a little bit of ballistic damage taken, 17% resisted, radioactive is 5%, so most of the damage is ballistic in this target, and that is 9 minutes and 6 seconds of damage. The build is shown here, I do have, you know, all my ships are X1, they're all identical except for the flagship, which is a high evade flagship. Notice the armor points right here is 55 million on the back four, but the front one is 55.6 million out of 60 million. That uh, higher base armor means that this thing gets targeted by King Killer much more often, and it also means that the flagship is going to have more damage on it. Now, you can drive this target for instant repair, but I'm not going to be doing it all that much because... You can actually just auto it for the same damage I showed you, if not even slightly better, especially with the high evade flagship and the sea serpents. I also do have, let's see, 3 minutes and 44 seconds, so repair time on the flagship will be just over 5 minutes. Doesn't really matter because you're going back to base anyway. Uh, and if you have a high evade, of course, you'll do better. You could auto it, honestly, for slightly less damage than I even took this way, which is why every subsequent target I hit, I'm likely going to be autoing. Of course, I hope Kickside does not tune the target around a full X1 fleet for everybody else and does have pretty reasonable repair, but we'll have to see. They love to play around with the damage. They did that last raid and left it on super high damage overnight. We'll just have to see how it happens this time. With that said, I want to give a huge thank you to the channel members whose names appear on the end screen now. They'll help, help, they are helping make videos like this one coming out in the first half hour of the raid possible. With that said, and until next time, this is Derby signing out, helping you be a better pirate.